Oh my. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I don't have any spooky music to play for my intro. Sorry. This is the best you're going to get. This is the last minute, minimum effort, rushed attempt uh, at horror. Ooh, but we took the kids uh, trick or treating tonight, so I didn't really leave a lot of time. The mask's not going to stay on because I want to drink my coffee. So, uh, woo! <laughs> okay, right, that's enough. Let's get that off. Also, I can't wear my glasses because it steams up. So, uh, this water touch. <clears throat> So, welcome to the Halloween special. Uh, the wife's dead. Um, the children have, um, I don't know, gone to wizarding school Ooh, or some shit. I don't want to, I don't even want to joke about the kids being dead. <laughs> For some reason, mate, it's, it's okay to joke about my wife being dead. Um, nobody's dead. Everyone's all right. Um, I just, I just want to make that clear. <laughs> and I am sorry if you're watching uh, my wife. So, uh, bit of a Halloween special tonight. Bit of a surprise, uh, unless you've read the stream information, in which case you'll know that we're going to be playing <clears throat> uh, a little known, but recently translated uh, PC-98 game. Now, the PC-98, um, as to my understanding, from my limited knowledge that I've, you know, gained from uh, internet osmosis, is that it's uh, a Japan-only Windows-based PC. And um, which had a bunch of games that which never. Uh, pardon me. Ah! <laughs> which never saw a release in the West. Um, <clears throat> this took a little bit of setting up, um, and we're essentially emulating the PC 98 disk drives and all. Um, it appears to work, it appears to save. This is going to be a nice little treat. We are playing Dead of the Brain. Let's jump in, shall we? Right. Okay, here we go. Alright, uh, okay, yeah. So, ignore the new game. Right. Are we ready? Let's check. Uh, <clears throat> audio seems fine. Let's go. This is gonna. This is going to be a treat, trust me. I might actually turn it up a touch. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> right, anyway. <clears throat> Carl. Carl! Ah! Finally home at last. Everyone sounds like my fucking Baldur's Gate character. Mm. Ah. Finally home at last. Man, I got worked to death painting those walls today. Why don't they make... I'm doing my, my shitty uh, Resident Evil voice acting. Why don't they make the temps do it? Oops. Why do I have to do all the boring chores? Thanks to that, I had to work overtime again today. Whatever. Overtime pays well, so I ain't complaining. God, I'm all sweaty. I should go take a Jill sandwich. Or a shower and relax for a bit. Shut up. Ah, all relaxed now. I love my after shower beer as well. Try it once, you can never stop having them. I think you got a problem, Carl. Well, another day of work done. I wonder when something interesting will happen for once. Even if it's a massive incident that baffles the world. Who talks like this? Great. Hang on a minute. Hmm? Who could be calling this late? Hi, this is Cole speaking. Oh, it's me! 
Dr. Kuga! Oh, it's you, Doc. Why? You're calling in the middle of the night! It's amazing. Sorry. It's amazing, Ko! You gotta see my latest invention! It'll knock your socks off! This again? Last time you pumped so much blood into that artificial heart that it burst! My jacket got soaked. It was such a pain to wash it. I don't think I got rid of the smell! I assure you, Ash! It's amazing! No blood this time! I mean, less blood! Can you just come on over now? Now? I'm too tired. How about tomorrow? Right now! I'll tell Terry about it! About you- what? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I'll tell Terry about you and Sheila! Alright. I'll be there. Please don't Terry tell Terry I'm fucking his wife. Ha! I'll be waiting! Dr. Wywe, Mega Man, the Wobots, the Wobot Masters. Doc's always threatening to expose Sheila and I when he wants something. Terry doesn't know I'm seeing Sheila, and he's planning to make moves on her. He came to ask me for advice on it. Why, why would you say this to yourself alone in your apartment? That's, that's my best um, Dr. Oak impression, by the way. Best, but not, not good. I'll figure it out when he finds out. If I don't go now, Duck will never let me hear the end of it. I wonder what he did this time. Why are you waiting here, Doc? <laughs> The neighbors don't know I'm home, so I couldn't have you call me out loud! I don't want anyone to know about this one. I see. So, what's this new invention? It's in the lab! Come and see! <laughs> I am always impressed at how cool, cool this lab is. Most people wouldn't believe this is a university professor's home. Well, since my wife passed, all I have is my research and my extensive collection of internet porn! Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot. Don't look so sad. I just spoke without thinking. I didn't mean to... Hmm? Doc, did you hear that? Sounded like someone moaning. <coughs> yeah. Like a baby. Co. <laughs> Sorry, that's <was> me. <laughs> cool. Oh, sorry. Cool, duck. Whoa, what's with that cat? Cool. Did you get bit? Scratched? Anything? No, nothing hurts. I'm alright, but anyways, this was your cat, wasn't it? Yes! It's Kitty! <laughs> Kitty, huh? Right. Why the hell did your pet cat attack me? Does it have rabies? No, the cat died a week ago. Huh? Don't be crazy, it jumped right at me. What's not the same, sorry, that's not the same quiet Kitty as before. It must be rabbit. Just tell it straight. I'm not a health inspector, you know. Ha 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 ha. Kitty isn't rabbit. You got it all wrong. Got it all wrong? What do you mean? What's with that weak old dead cat shit? Shooting it was just cruel. I straight up fucking whacked it. Listen to me, Cole. Kitty died a week ago. I'm certain it wasn't rabies. I found the body just after I made the first sample of my new resurrection drug! Resurrection drug? Like, the kind of thing that re revived the dead? Yes! Kitty died of old age! I felt sorry for it, but I made it my best... Test subject! Doc, I can't get what you're saying! I have to do that arm movement, see if I'm gonna do like the Resident Evil shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on, wait, wait. give me a wider... 
me a wider thing down here. You're not going to get my gesticulations. I like to gesticulate all over the place. There you go, and there's the spooky floating apple. <laughs> Doc, I can't get what you what you're saying. No way you made a drug like this. Sure, you're a genius scientist, but this is the stuff of movies. I know anyone would think this kind of thing is impossible. Your reaction is quite understandable, Cole. Yet, I must make you realize that this isn't sci-fi. What are you gonna do? Show you the drug in full force. Ellipses? The cat is certainly dead, right? It would be good if it was still alive after all that. Doc, can you stop? I believe you. No, you're doubting. You probably think I went mad. You must see this with your own eyes. The liquid in here is a sample of the drug. Look at your watch after I inject it. According to my data, or is it data? According to my data, da -da 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 -da, it'll take 13 seconds until revival. Here we go. <laughs> No way! It came back to life! How? <laughs> Those certainly aren't post-death convulsions! How about it? Believe me now! No way! This must be a trick! It's not some trick! It's moving before your eyes! Isn't it? Doc, this is amazing! You'll win the Nobel Prize. Maybe something greater. The Super Nobel Prize. When will you make it public? We aren't there yet. Like I said, this is a prototype sample. How so? Did it not just work perfectly? Well, there are some side effects. Animals revived with the drug go feral. Feral? Like those zombies in the movies? Wait a minute. Whatever. Ha! Probably! But I haven't tested on humans, so I'm not sure. It's against the law. I'm a scientist, not a doctor. What? Anyways, revived animals lose any docility they once had. I've never heard of cats who attack humans without being provoked. Have you actually ever owned a fucking cat? Are you shitting me? Cats will attack anything on a fucking whim. Okay. Unless they have rabies! I see. Kitty, why do you attack humans? What's your goal? Ow. What? Don't touch it! I forgot to tell you that, that their physical strength nearly doubles! You know what the world restrain... Sorry. What? You know what the word restrain means? <laughs> our muscles have enough strength to break our own bones. Normally, you save that strength to protect your own body. Once the ferality takes over, that restraint is gone and it exhibits unreal strength. It could probably kill a human in one hit. Well, cat, you kidding me? Officer Jack, uh, Officer Jack, Officer Jack. Um. <clears throat> Uh, Officer Jack. Hello, hello, hello. Mr. Cougar, this is Officer Jack from the uh, 16th Precinct. Open the door, Mr. Cougar. The cops! Oh, wait, sorry, wrong voice. The cops, what are we gonna do? Open the door. This is the police. Cole, stay here and hide the cat in the fridge. Don't let it bite you. All right. Uh, Mr. Cougar? Mr. Cougar? Officer, what brings you here at this hour? This house is so old I can hear their voices through the walls. Uh, Mr. Cougar, we had a reports of a strange cat noise. I need to speed up the messages on this. Uh, I don't think I can actually do that. 
Strange cat noises in the... Uh, so, so, strange cat noises is enough for people to call the police out. And they arrive within three minutes. Really? Hey, that's efficient. Right. There are many strays around and it's troubling even me. Is, isn't it odd, though, to, to ask the police to deal with stray cats? That's what I'm saying. Well... They say it's not a regular noise. Can I um, can I speed up by pressing it? No, shit, I can't. Oh god. Uh, we've been getting reports since last week. I got curious, <clears throat> so I came to patrol. He's what? The, the rest of the message is okay. Fine, whatever. I see, but I haven't heard any shrieks myself. That was the door! We need to oil the doors! Uh, may I look inside? It's routine. I won't be long. I don't mind. I, I have a guest now, so please be quick! I'm coming in then. This is your bedroom? Yes. Since my wife passed, I've forgotten to clean it, so it's quite messy. That was ten years ago. All right. This is my study. All of my research is collected in there, so please don't touch anything. Don't worry, I won't. What's in here? The lab. My guest is here. Uh, may I come in? He's cut. Sorry, he's coming in here. Doc, just get him to leave. Oh. Sorry, I don't mind at all! What are these photos here? These are famous scientists! I look up to them as one myself! Cole, this is Officer Jack from the 16th Precinct! Nice to meet you. The name's Cole. Good evening, my name is Jack. Jack Keith, the man. <laughs> yeah, right. And my name is John Robert Boy. What are you two doing here at a time like this? None of your goddamn business, asshole! We've been thinking of holding a party soon, and I wanted to discuss it with Doc. I mean... Oh, sorry, wrong voice. I've been, wanted, I've been thinking of holding a party soon, and I wanted to discuss it with Doc. I mean, my professor. I see. Mr. Cougar, what kind of research are you doing here? Research on cancer cells. Research on cancer cells. My rivals always beat me to it. Darn, I've grown too old to do this. Huh? What's that noise? Must be the strays from behind the house. There's a garbage bin there, so they gather there for dinner. There's a graveyard nearby, so maybe some ghosts are making those noises. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, I hope the cats don't mistake you for a salad. Well, I'll be leaving now. If you see anything, let us know. Thank you for your service. Huh? What's that sound? Did you hear a noise coming from the fridge there? No, there's nothing but medicine in there. Really? I'm sure I heard something. I could have made a joke about cancer and cat scans, but uh, it's only just come to me. Me or the character? Really? I'm sure I heard something. Can I open it? Sure! I don't mind! Doc, this is bad. Why didn't you stop him? If I did, that would be suspicious! It's better that he sees a fucking zombie cat! Why the hell not?! Plus, every animal injected with the drug expired within two minutes! That cat's probably still alive! 
What do we do? Dark. Holy shit. Dark, what are you doing? We have to take him to the hospital. It's too late. Kitty slashed his throat. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's juggling. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> His jugular vein and carotid artery are completely severed! What about Kitty? She's dead! Must have used her final strength to kill Jack! What do we do? They're all gonna think we murdered him. I know. We just have to tell them that the cat fucking came back to life! <laughs> Doc, say something! We've gotta tell the police the truth! Even you doubted me! Do you really think the police will take our word for it? They'll think we're mad! There's no way the police will accept that explanation! We'll both be sent to the electric chair! Or a gas chamber! Screw that! What do we do? They're gonna find us in no time! Kitty bit Jack's throat, right? Yeah! What are you- Oh, sorry. Yeah, what are you thinking? The drug is like a virus! It's far from complete! And has living microorganisms in it! Infection! That is, when bitten, you're infected! The virus goes from the wound to the brain! You mean, Jack's gonna become a zombie? I don't know! I just said I never tested on humans before! This is really hurting my throat. <coughs> but I can sorry. But I can say it's been a while now and Jack's not moving on moving an inch. Humans have large bodies, and since our body mass is bigger than a cat, the small amount that was in Kitty's bite would take a long time to work on a human. Kitty was a cat. Duh. And since cats are naturally violent, her feralness took over. Humans, though, are rational beings. Are you, have you ever been online, Dr. Carl? You've never, you've clearly never actually owned a cat or been online. So, a human won't go feral like a cat? I don't know. We're not making progress. I say we try to bring him back to life. If we do, we can avoid the death penalty. Doc. If this doesn't work, we're screwed, right? Please step away, Cole. If things go badly, I'll shoot him. I'll fucking straight up shoot this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, because that'll, that'll actually help. Like, a slashed throat, which can be traced to the claws of the cat, is probably a little bit easier to explain than a fucking bullet wound to the head from your gun, dude. All right. This is a translation from the Japanese. I, I assume they use the Z word in the original. I don't know. But yeah, hell, hell yeah. It's better than walkers or what is it? Freaks or jakes or I don't know. Shufflers. I hate that shit. That really winds me up about Walking Dead. Just fucking say zombie shitheads. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. I'm not reading that. This is very tense. I guess a drag like this is just a... Give me a chance. The Jack came back to life. Officer Jack, it's me, Mr. Cougar. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, ah, whatever. You shit yourself when you die, right? Okay. Oh. Uh, Jack, can you hear me? It's me, Dr. Cougar. Not to be confused with Dr. Milf, they're actually slightly different. Gah! Doc, watch it. He doesn't die no matter how much I shoot. Cole, let's get
get out of here! We should get out of here now. That's what I just said, you fucking asshole! Let's go! Hurry it up! Doc, the graveyard! Are there no other build- <sighs> Oh yeah, I like the writing there, by the way. Fuck me, right, I guess. Let's go in! We might lose him! No other options here, other than the graveyard, really? What was that about humans not being feral? Where'd that fucking rationality go? When all said and done, I guess we are just descended from monkeys! That's the opposite of what you just said. What's in the bag? It's the drug! Is he still after us? He's... he's still coming! I think I get... But I'm not gonna make a Viagra joke. He, he, he's so persistent! <clears throat> Only because I can't form it quickly enough. <clears throat> Whoa! Doc, you... Oh, sorry, wrong. It was actually been out. Wah! Doc, you are right. No! My resurrection drug! You clumsy asshole! Doc, Jack is on our trail! Tail, even. Or both. He's on our trail and our tail. Whatever. Who gives a shit? We gotta run. My serum! You can make more later. Let's go! Notice the grave of Stephen King there, by the way. Oh, shit. Right, okay. We, are we playing? Oh, no, we're not playing yet. Okay. This is all just the intro, by the way. I think credits... Sorry, title comes up in a minute. <clears throat> May I lend you a hand? Sorry. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh, it's more like, um... Oh, is it Return of the Living Dead? I think it takes more of a... More of a cue from Return of the Living Dead. House of the Brain, 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 Brain. <laughs> I think I have to press the button. But I've got to listen to this for a little while. <clears throat> I'll do that. Okay, let's go. Doc, what do we do? No one ever teaches you how to deal with the undead. Is an undead Jack gonna keep following us around until we die of old age? Calm down, Cole! You saw him! It's not even human! What are we gonna do? Cole, calm down! The drug is still incomplete! There's a limit to Jack's life right now, and I think it's almost up! When that's done with, he'll go looking... We'll go looking for him! He's out there, hearing his second death! Nearing his second death, even! Change the font, please! We'll get his body! And then we turn ourselves in! Huh? Doc, if the police nab us, the way that's written is awful. If the police nab us, we'll get the death penalty for sure. This is Texas after all. Ah, whatever. I didn't have my air horn there. The police are gonna find Jack sooner or later. It's best we get it over with now. Yeah, I'm not worried about the chair. I'm worried about wasting the rest of my sorry life with you. Fuck you, Cole! No, fuck you! Ha! There's a human- there's a much bigger problem than that! Oh, whoa, 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 okay, we're playing, we're playing. Alright, first off, let's save. Nice. Okay. Uh... Is this a filthy porn mag?
Doc looks tired. And I've never seen Doc that serious before. Can't blame him. Doc is quite serious. Okay. Uh, uh, let's talk. Doc, you saw Dawn of the Zombies, right? <laughs> sure. You saw that, uh, whatever. That movie about the Frankenstein type guy who made zombies? Yes, a single zombie went around New NYC, bit others, the zombies multiplied, and the city turned into a ghost town. Uh, go, mm, no, not really, but okay. Terrifying scenario! Those zombies could have been killed by guns. Why didn't that work back there? That's fiction! You... you do it? You don't, oh, you don't. Sorry. That's fiction, motherfucker! <laughs> Only the brain is revived, so blood loss is impossible! Uh, 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 <clears throat> um, there's nothing to look at, really. I want to look at this. Uh, go, go where? We can't get anything. We can look or we can talk. We can We can't mo move. So I just talk more. How is that possible? Basically, it's imitating a live person. I'm not entirely sure how it works. You developed the fucking serum. We gotta go find Jack so hell doesn't break loose. Move. And talk more. We gotta be Alright, okay. <clears throat> Get. Look. Okay. In Dawn of the Zombies, they died when shot in the heart. But that didn't work at Doc's lab. That movie was full of shit! Um, stupid mouse. So we can't use. Oh no 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 no! We don't do that. Cancel. We can't move. Get. We can either talk or look. What are we looking at? If that policeman attacks people, it won't end well. <laughs> Shayla. Cow. Open the door. Help. <clears throat> Sheila, I'll be right there. Go, don't tell her anything. Don't worry. What a babe! Hang on, why is that doing that? Oh, it's because it's on a fucking cable. <clears throat> I want to check out this girl. Hubba hubba. Sheila's shaking. What happened? Sheila's out of breath. What happened to her? Hope you don't mind the ducks here. Anyway, what happened? Cow, I was nearly killed. Hmm? What's this about? I was walking on Main Street from the train station and everything fell off. Uh, uh Good grief. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a quick break. Hang on a second. <coughs> uh let me just finish, and let me just save. How so? Windows are broken and weirdos were walking down the street. They seem to be drunks, but they followed me. Alright, let's uh, save again. Uh, and we will take a quick break. I'm going to make myself a drink because my throat is actually beginning to... Uh... <clears throat> yeah. I'm back in a tick. Back in a tick. Uh.
Okay, we're back. From the dead! <laughs> and I have some blood in my cup. Oh, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Need blackcurrant juice. But anyway. But it looks like blood. Ooh. <laughs> right. Uh. Did they hurt you? No, they smelled like rot. When I saw their faces, all three of them had blood all over their teeth. I don't think it was makeup. I got scared and ran here. Doc, you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, yes, possibly, but I don't know where we're going to get an industrial-sized tub of raw jelly at this time of night. No. Unreal! It hasn't been that long! Unreal or not, Sheila saw... ZOMBIES! Impossible! It's only been an hour since Jack got out! Cal, what's going on? Doc made zombies. He made a drug to revive things. He shot it into his dead cat. <laughs> then it killed the police officer in one swipe. Then he used it on the cop and well... Uh, you're pulling my leg. Sheila, Cole's right. We ran from the cop and that's why I'm here. We're going to turn ourselves in. And get the electric chair! Cole and Mr. Cougar, you're gonna get arrested! That's really harsh in my throat. But I've got to carry on, damn it. Well, if there's that many zombies out there, we have a massive problem on our hands. Now why? A resurrection drug? We better talk to the police immediately. Is there anything else we can do? No, we can't do this by ourselves. Reviving Jack was a mistake. Cole, please dial 911. Um. We have to let the police handle this. Oh, yeah, I figured it out. Ring! Can you hear that? Hang on a minute. One second. I can hear like a buzzing noise. Is that meant to be the... Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, sorry. It's a slight buzzing noise. I don't know if it's supposed to be the game. Something that's going on with my audio. I don't know, whatever. We're sorry, all lines are busy now. Please try your call again later. Yeah, I think it was just the phone. Lines busy. This happened the last time I called. Uh, try again? Let's try again. Ring. We're sorry, all lines are busy now. Please try your call again later. It's no use. I can't get through. Okay. Damn. The lines are busy. Phone's busy? Wait and try again. It's been like this a lot. I guess they're busy right now. We can't do anything if the lines are busy. <clears throat> then what? Are you... Can we move? No. Are we just going to keep trying? Let's try again. This is the last time I'm trying to... Ring! Rare sat. Yeah, yeah. It's no use. I can't get through. 
What am I meant to do then? Wait, do you mean wait? Go? No, no, no. Uh. We move. Uh. Sheila's looking calmer now. If that policeman attacks people, it won't end well. Uh, do I just literally wait? Trying again. Ugh. Hello? Hello? That's odd. What is it? The line's dead. No dial tone. Holy shit! Look out! Oh. Whoa! Did Jack really chase us all the way here? Doc, that's a different zombie. I'm starting to sound like Keanu Reeves. Hand me my piece, Cole! Right. Sheila, get behind me! A man! <laughs> Doc, it's not working. Shoot him in the head, you fucking idiot. Don't you know anything about zombies? Fuck! I'm hitting these major organs, but he's not jump. The brain is a major organ. He's coming right for us. Let's get out of here. He's coming right for us. Right! Why didn't that work? Doc, hurry up! Jesus Christ! That's a lot of zombies! <clears throat> How did they multiply that fast? That's a lot more than before. We can't stay here! We should go to the police! The nearest station is in the 16th precinct. <laughs> okay, we have a map. <laughs> um, sure. So, this is the 16th Precinct Police Station. Damn, it was pretty far away. It's so quiet right now. It's usually pretty busy during the day. Yeah, because no crime ever happens at night, right? right. A room on the second floor has the lights on. Maybe the entire force is playing poker. What are you talking about, you fucking idiot? <laughs> it does a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, no doubt. This is the 16th Precinct Police Station. This is a patrol car. No one is in it, though. A garbage kin? Garbage kin? A garbage can. So I'm just thinking bin and can. Hobos hang around this bin all the time. Not sure what the drawer is. It's not like there's any worthwhile grub in there. Maybe they search for thrown out police do donuts. Maybe they search for thrown out police donuts and sell them to the mafia. It's an interesting theory. It's a large two floor police station. Wouldn't have thought the end up here. Sorry, wouldn't have thought to end up here at this hour. The entrance area is pretty large. The station must be enormous. Uh, move? No. Go. Go, go, go! I just want to see. Let's try speaking to the cops. They'll understand. You're right! I'm just going through the window, are we? Okay. Holy shit! I started to say holy shit before I read that, I swear. I, I become, I become Carl. Carl. Holy shit! What the fuck happened in here? The zombies must have gotten in here. Right, Doc?
Uh. I fucking took this guy's head clean off. Look at that. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what the time is. From the look of the stain, a zombie probably picked a man up and threw him into the wall. You're like a blood splatter expert now, are you? Ballistics? You're a fucking... Hang on, aren't you a painter and decor... I'm a painter and decorator, right? Am I right in thinking that? No normal man would have done that. Or could have done that, even. That's not an awful way... Sorry. What is wrong with my reading today? That's an awful way to die. Even for an officer of the law. The smell of rotting flesh is horrific. I'm gonna be sick. Uh, pardon me. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, ooh, books. Fresh blood. Zombies are probably hiding nearby. Wow, I have that chair at home. No? Sheila. Sorry. Sheila, can you hit the lights? It's too dark in here. On it. Huh? I think the power doesn't work. Uh, we can't move. We can't go. We can't use anything. The cops don't have any bullets in their guns. The receptionist is dead. Must have been the first one to go. Each of their heads have been smashed. Perhaps... Sorry. Perhaps they knew their weak point since they were once human. Possibly, but what is their goal? I'm drawing blanks on that one! Uh, we can't get anything. I guess we just keep looking, right? I don't know. Should we try talking to him? I don't know. Hey, Doc, you think these corpses will turn into zombies? Oh, of course not. Their heads are completely destroyed. They can't revive if the brain isn't intact. Then why weren't you shooting them in the head? There was a light on upstairs. Someone's probably up there. I'll go take a peek. Alone? <clears throat> I'll be fine, Doc. Can I have your gun? Like fuck! Rats! I used all the bullets! Even with the gun, it's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this sword! We won't get anywhere if we stay here. I'll go up and check, and I'll be right back. Blood. This is... Chris's blood. Cal, please down. It's dangerous. I'll be okay. Don't go anywhere until I come back. If something happens, I'll run right back. Cal, be careful. It's actually quite bright in here. I wonder if there are any survivors still here. There's a ton of blood on the floor. It must have been spilled a while ago. As it's dry. There's a fire extinguisher here. Even the police need it. <laughs> this door is very different from the rest. It's quite sturdy. Wonder what's in there. There are five doors here, but I don't know where they go. Let's investigate. Don't know what's inside until I check it out. Okay, uh, we can't get, okay, we move, go, ah, go. Um, I want to check this out. Let's investigate that room. Something reeks of gunpowder. This must be an armory. It's so dark. Right, we are getting the fuck out. We actually move. Oh, okay. No, we want to return. Yes. Go out into the hall. Yes. All right. Where should I investigate next? It's actually quite tense. Um. Okay, well, this is the obvious one, right? I mean, what well, I mean, it's saying that this one's also open. Then this one's got a handprint. Ah, uh, fuck it. We'll, we'll go right from left to right. This door's all... Door. This door's already open. 
and bloody. It's bloody open, isn't it? This is a meeting room. Aha! There's an emergency flashlight hanging on the wall, possibly for a power failure. What can I get it? This will definitely be useful. I'm taking it. Nice! A battery is already in here. I can search dark areas now. Right, well, let's get the fuck out of here then. Uh, actually, we'll have a little look around. Huh. Wouldn't it be creepy if a group of zombies held a meeting here? No, that would be stupid. That would be stupid. That chair at the end of the table is probably reserved for the highest ranking officers. Only the moonlight illuminates the room. I'm getting an eerie feeling. Right, let's get the fuck out of here then. I got the flashlight, so it might be a good idea to check another room. Alright, where should I investigate next? Well, I guess here. There is probably no detention room in this station. Well, instead of thinking about it too much, I should just go in and see. So, oh, so what is move then? So I've always thought move would be like... Move yourself, right? All right, let's investigate that room. Something's gonna happen. I smell gunpowder. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, it's really dark. Use. Yeah, boy. Oh shit! All right, I can see now. Is that blood on the floor? It goes to the back. Is someone there? Uh, actually... <laughs> I'm not going around there yet. Yeah. I'm gonna check these other rooms first. Fucking blood all over the place. I don't think... Look, there's blood going through to here and here, right? So let's check this one. Actually, let's save at this point. Let's check out this room. Oh shit. This must be the chief's office. Zombies probably didn't get in here, as the place is spotless. That's good to me. This is kind of creepy, actually. Um... The room is lit up by an overhead light. This must be what we saw from the office. Outside, sorry. There's an ashtray and a lighter here. I will light one, but Sheila and Doc are waiting. There's the... There's old glory on display. There's one in all police stations. AMERICA! There's a phone, pen holder, and a nameplate on the desk. There's also a sheet of paper. Is this phone usable? Uh, can we get phone? Uh, I guess not. This isn't like the desk from downstairs. It's a lot more fancy. I want to use the phone. Okay. A piece of paper. What's on it? <laughs> 216. Evacuation site. Central Hotel 216. Evacuation? Maybe the cops went there. Uh, not bad, actually. It's a little bit weird. It's kind of, it, this reminds me a lot of Snatcher. Um, but yeah, if it, it's, well, it's more PC-like, obviously, because it was like a, on a PC. Yeah, I'm kind of getting used to it slowly. But if, if you're not allowed to do something, it won't even allow you to select it. So, I don't know. Uh, no, 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 stay. I can see a chair here. It's very fancy. I guess that's kind of it. There's a painting on the wall, but I'm clueless about paintings. I went to an art gallery once, but the more I looked around, the more the paintings looked samey. So I became a painter and decorator, apparently. 
I wonder where the chief is, sleeping at home? Maybe he was killed already. It would be strange if no one attempted to contact him. I want to look at that number again. 216, 216, okay. Uh, let's go. Yeah. All right. Where should I go investigate next? Over here! I can smell dead bodies from the other side. Yuck. Oh, shit! <coughs> this is a comms room. It's so awful. God, so many dead police officers. This one is gruesome. These zombies show no mercy. A zombie must have come in here. Killed her first. Then the other guy tried to... This is some really good detective work, by the way. Then the other guy tried to help the one on the right, but was attacked. Seems there were two zombies. How do you know this? There's stuff everywhere. Must have been a hard fight. It seems the zombie got him from behind. He probably died sitting on his chair. Really, you don't say? This clock still works. It's showing the correct time. Uh, what's this? There's communications gear, computers, and other stuff on the desk. If you look at the desks, it's clear what happened. Yeah, they got fucked up. Uh, I don't think... I don't see anything of note on the desk. What is that, man? I think that's... Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we're done. Books? No. Yeah, sure. Maybe I should go elsewhere. All right. Where should I investigate next? That room's door is open and bloody. <gasps> ah! The zombie must have gotten into this interrogation room. This was an officer from the station. There's a lot of blood and his brains were eaten. There's no coming back from that. Everything that was probably on the desk is now on the floor. Must have been a fierce fight. This didn't fall, but it seems like it was moved around. Can I move it? No. Uh, no bullets left in the gun. He fired every shot he could. Should we take the gun anyway, please? Better off leaving all of this on the floor. Why? It, it would not hurt to have a spare gun. Because you might find bullets, shithead. Fuck's sake, dude. An empty gun would get in. Get in the way of what? Get in the way of winning your Darwin award. Darwin award. Um. Okay. Oh, he's got a nice watch though. That watch. I'm not gonna carry around a corpse. Human shields aren't meant to be portable. This isn't the time. Fine. Okay. Let's go back in the hallway. All right. Where should I investigate next? Okay, let's do it. Everything leads to this room. Seems to be the armory. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to say this again. It seems the blood hasn't dried. Must be new. No weapons? What can I do with all of the undead if I don't have a weapon? Okay. No, 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 no. Stay, stay. I'll look around a little more. Move, maybe? I think I see a desk back there. So maybe that's a different room. Uh, the fact there's a massive trail of blood means something is back there. Dead or undead, I should stay alert. Uh, 
From here, the room doesn't look too big. Can I just go there? From here, the room doesn't look No one could have survived this much bleeding. Just keep looking at it or something? I'll look around. I guess we leave? Hmm. I mean, I want to go around there, right? And I can't move. Do we just leave? Can't use anything. Okay. Can I, why can I not go there? Let's leave, I guess. I don't know. Fuck it, let's go. Yeah. We can't go back. We can't move. Maybe we're missing something else in one of the other rooms. Now, yeah, I know, I know, I, I want to investigate, but I can't fucking go in there. Dude. Uh... Right, okay, so looking is not doing anything. Talking, we don't get the option. We can't move or look or get or use anything. Okay. Let's go look in the other rooms again, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I checked the drawer in the desk, but there was nothing in it. The chair leg is bent. The officer couldn't have done this. An officer holding a handgun, not an odd sight. I can't keep looking at his head. There are chunks of flesh on the floor as well. I'm gonna be sick! Papers, chairs, ashtrays, and letters are scattered everywhere. He must have been organizing the papers on the chair. While smoking his last. Get. Get. Nothing to get. Hello? No reply. Not surprising. No one could lift af live after all this blood loss. You nothing to use. Okay, let's go back to the hallway. Where the fuck am I going? I'm s surely I was supposed to go into that back room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get, get what? Can we get the note? I've got it in my head, so I don't need this note. No, no. Get the flag. The flag is heavier than it looks. I'm too weak to pick it up. This lighter could be useful. Okay. Huh? Shit, it's out of fluid. So have I got it then? I don't think I could do much with an empty lighter. It's not as though you might find some fluid layer. Hmm. I don't know. And I can't move. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck am I going? So we've already been in here. We didn't uh, think really to do any of those there. Can we go? No, we can't go back the way we came. Oh god. 
Didn't mean to do that. How do I go around that corner in that other fucking room? Go and check in here again, I guess. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe I could contact a patrol car. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Crackle, crackle. Is anybody out there? Is this thing on? Brains. Brains. There's someone out there. It works! More brains. <laughs> Eat brains. This is definitely Return of the Living Dead inspired. Wait a minute. That's no cop. Brains? Hmm. Crunch. Ugh. Sounds like the voices of hellish demons groaning at me. Are zombies eating brains? Is that why they are killing people? Why would they want to eat brains? Maybe they need the brains to live. <sighs> Perhaps it does. That's not really... That's a low bar to... To surmount, though. Maybe I should go elsewhere. We watched, um, what was it? Ah, oh, it was a really shitty horror film. We watched it last night. Ah, uh, what was it? It was, uh, okay, it was about an app that you download and it tells you when you're going to die. And if, like, you breach the terms of the app, like, the demon comes for you and torments you. What the fuck was it called? It was it was kind of shit. It wasn't terrible, but it was it was pretty shit and sort of ridiculous. Okay. <sighs> called. I think yeah, it was called Countdown. Actually, now I think about it. Yeah, Countdown. It was called. <laughs> Can we go around there or what? I guess we can't. Damn it. Yeah, it was called Countdown. And you can actually download the Countdown app in the app store. Uh, but my wife, she she forbid me from doing it. What am I supposed to do? It's probably expired. Can I get it? I wouldn't want to carry this useless hunk of junk. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, I don't know. Where do you go back in here? Hmm. He probably didn't hear anything with those headphones on. Even if a zombie was right behind him. I should stay alert. Envelope? There's stuff everywhere. Must have been a hard fight. There's stuff everywhere. Must have been a hard fight. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to fucking do. Anything? Uh, were they even armed? They weren't prepared for a zombie attack. Well, I don't think... Hang on. No, okay, it's not on the desk, it's in the desk. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm supposed to go in that fucking room. But it won't let me. And I haven't found anything from this room yet. Right, can we get the gun? No. Uh, cigarettes, envelopes, isn't, there's nothing. It's like Doc said, so they know our weak points. Nothing in his pockets except a wallet. No gun. Guns can't kill zombies. Only slow them down. Aye! Right. Something in his hand? What about these bullets? 
perhaps papers, chairs, that's just right. Okay, this is his brain again. I don't fucking know. But yeah, the actually the, the demon in that film actually looked kind of good at least. I suppose that was probably one of the few things about it. But it was just stupid, and like, uh, yeah, and they were like. Uh, they put comedians in there in a couple of roles like Tom Segura was in there and it was really distracting and there was like a like a, a priest or whatever he was um, and he was like they walked in and he was smoking weed and listening to rap music and he's like well I'm into the occult yeah and it's so fucking dumb and obviously they all make really stupid fucking mistakes as well and like oh yeah there's a uh, Fucking creepy noises come from this room. I'm going to investigate. It's that kind of shit. And you just... Ugh, it just makes me scratch my head. Typical uh, horror film shit. Um, what am I going to do? Am I going to have to go to the guide? How the fuck do I go to the back of that room? Get, talk, look. Use... Hang on. See, I'm pressing go now, and it's not giving me the option to leave. Oh no, is that a bad thing? Oh no. It's not giving me the option to leave anymore. Is it fucked? <laughs> Is it fucked? Move, get, talk. It's not letting me leave now. Oh no. Come on. Is it bugged? No. Don't do this. Go, 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 go. <sighs> ah! It's fucked, isn't it? It's fucked. It's actually fucked. Uh, let's try this again. Okay. Bad. I think I'm going to get the fucking guide at this point. this don't want to hear this anymore just have to exhaust the dialogue and everything else in here right and we've been in there we've been in here already I think <sighs> nothing else in here
<sighs> what the fuck? What the holy shit? Okay, I think it might be an exhaust dialogue kind of thing. All three drawers? No. Can't get anything. Save again. Actually, look, I'm. Hmm. I honestly don't fucking know. Honestly, don't know where I'm going or what I'm supposed to do. Right, can I uh, go? Right, yeah, so we're, we're at this point again where Go doesn't let you leave, right? And I can't do anything in the fucking room. I'm stuck. Talk, get. All I can do is look, use. I can't load. Oh, I can load. Can't move anything. Can't. I can only look at shit or Go, which won't let me leave. Is it bugged? Is this bugged? I've got to search every fucking thing. What's that? Oh no, what? Ah! And we can't go anywhere. Right, okay, it's guide time. It's fucking guide time. This is some bullshit. Are you serious? Hang on a minute. If this is bugged, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Do the brain. Guide. MSX is... Oh, God. Let's go. Like, seriously, what the hell? Is this just bugged? I can't go anywhere and there's nothing to look at. This is some pixel hunting bullshit. Right, here we go. <laughs> right. Uh, hang on. Right, all right, okay, let's let's load again. Uh, number six, right? Before we came back in. Right, so here we go, look. So... Da-da-da-da-da, police station, where we found three cold cuts. Doc and Sheila sat down, da-da-da-da-da. Pull it, right, okay, entered the first one. It was the meeting room. There I was able to get a flashlight in the second found a note third room scattered everywhere lay the remains of a real massacre i almost vomit no you didn't when i started to examine the courses but suddenly i heard a strange voice for a moment i thought it was one of the dead but the voice turned to laughter and faded into silence again after the fourth door another gore scene awaited me the deceased had tried to defend himself with a gun he couldn't prevent his brains blah blah blah, blah. tried to pick up the pipe but the cunt was clinging to it more than to his own life, even though he'd already lost it. What pipe? There's no pipe. When I opened the fifth door, the deepest darkness enveloped me, but thanks to the flashlight, I illuminated the corridor in which I found myself. I followed the trowel that turned right next to a bookshelf. There didn't seem to be anything abnormal here. As I was... It's bugged.
That is not a guide, by the way. Why can't I go to the back? And it's the same again. I'm stuck again. Are you fucking shitting me? I think this is... The, the stream is over. <laughs> I don't know fucking what to do. Um... I'm now searching Dead of the Brain. Uh, it's supposed to be a guide, but it's not a very good one. Dead of the Brain. Brain. Bug. No. Ugh. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think I can even find a guide. Shit. Do the brain one and two guide and walk through. Come on! Yes, I accept cookies. Show me the goddamn guide. Uh, da, da, da. Guide, please. Get this guide started. What? Show me the fucking... I'm not going to subscribe. Just... <sighs> ah! I think something is going on. Walk through. Come on! It's the wrong fucking game. I think I'm fucked. I can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. I can't look at anything. I'm supposed to just be able to go around the fucking corner. I can't move, I can't get, I can't use, I can't go. Go round the corner! Damn it. Uh, wait, this just puts me back inside, right? Right, I can't... Oh, actually... Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, that could be it. I'm like, okay, what is supposed to happen? Is that you go in this room, you go around the corner. How do you go around the corner? In the fucking, hang on. Dead of the brain. Dead is the brain, go round corner. No. No. Ah! Google's not helping me. Okay, right, hang on. Right, fuck this. Um, screw this noise. Alright, let's bring up the browser. Boop. And uh, can I bring that up? No. Dead of the brain. Walk through. Play through. Uh, 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 uh. 
yeah, you should just be able to go around the corner, right? Right, so we're up to that point. Is it, is it, yeah, I should just be able to go to the back room. If I click go on the back of the room, it should just allow me to go back there. Am I going mad? Look. Yeah. You just press go. And then you investigate the back of the room. Hey! I have defo checked all of the other rooms. So then go. <laughs> Did I not try that about 80 fucking times a minute ago? Did I'll tell you what. I'm just I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take I'm going to take the win. Was I Am I am I going mad? Or did or did I actually just I, I was clicking like a fucking madman. Is is it possible that I clicked every square inch of that back of the room bar the bit I was supposed to click? Fuck. Damn it. Oh no, we're not editing that in it. No, that's that's staying in. No. Look. Yes, I was clicking go. <laughs> yes, I was 100% clicking go. I was like, go, 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 go. Anyway, yes, we don't edit uh, videos here at the Daddy Stream. Oh, I have to allow you to say wank. I'm oh, sorry, just me allow that in the chat. There we go. I permitted the term wank. So everyone feel free to use the word wank, uh, use it responsibly. Uh, yeah, we don't edit things at the daddy stream, that's too much effort. Where's the time to edit their videos, right? Anyway, fuck me. Hmm, seems like the blood trail stops here. I really need a piss now, so I'm going to take another bottle up. I'm going to go and cool off. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Damn it.
damn it. I'm gonna check the footage back later on. And uh, cause I would need to satisfy my own I don't know. <sighs> right. Uh okay. Hmm. Seems the blood trail stops here. Yep. A generic office desk. Nothing's on it. I wonder what's in this locker. There's nothing in it. Not even a broom! The windows are blinds. Small ones for small windows. Nothing on these shelves is a note. Oh well, I guess I'll just go back to the hall. Hmm. I thought I heard some noise. I, I thought heard some noise behind me. I thought I heard some noise behind me. Holy shit! Ah! Gua! Whoa! This is this is a zombie! Ah! ah! Oh! Oh shit, shit, shit! So many teeth! The mouth is human! Oh shit, I've got a countdown. Go! Who cares when I gotta do something? The mouth! I gotta do something! It's cool, clammy! Oh shit, I got game over. Age 24. Died at 15 precinct. Okay. Uh, why couldn't I move? Let's just go. Oh well. Hmm. It's a zombie! He's in uniform! I gotta do something! I'm not shaking his hand right now! I gotta... The zombie has brains gushing out of his head! I gotta do something quick! The drug reanimates the brain! I wonder if I can destroy it! Ah! With what? Hmm. Okay. No good, I can't reach it. I have to do something. I have to destroy the brain, but I can't reach it. I've got nothing. I haven't got anything. Shit. I'm not stuck, am I? I need to look around for... Not even a broom. Hmm. Can't get anything. There's nothing to look at. I don't know. We got nothing. Oh. Uh. Zombie brains. Nose, teeth. The drug reanimates the brain. I know. I can't reach it, I can't go, I can't load, look, talk, get, I can't get, 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 get the brain, no. What am I supposed to get? You can't, you can't select talk. Um, I haven't got anything, I can't, right, so, hang on. Hmm. Right, 
Right, so we have to see the brain. Right, I have to destroy the brain. Rip out his tongue, but I don't think that will work. I can't talk. I've got nothing. I've got nothing to use. Uh... There's nothing to look at. I can't use anything. There's nothing to get. I've got a flashlight. That's about it. It's the timer that gets me. Reach it. How do you reach it? Oh, right. Shh. Okay. Yes. Ah! Zombie blood! That's some of that fucko. That's weird. Ah! I gotta get out of here quick! Whoa! Ah, I slipped! The blood wasn't dry already! The zombie! What am I gonna do? Fucking go! Ah, I can't get up! Oh shit, I'm gonna kill to do, do something! Give me time to fucking read! Alright, so it's all look stuff, right? Ah, there! What's that object? <sighs> right, okay. Don't worry. Right, okay. Well, at least it continues you not too far from where you were. Oh, motherfucker! His eyes are watching. I need to do something. His eyes are watching. Wait, the eyes. This, that's it. My new chest. I got a one shot at this. Right, okay, fucko. We got it this time. I see it. I can't get up! What? What's that object? Oh shit, it's the zombie. It's getting close. What's that? There! It's the zombie. It's getting up close. There! 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 Get it! Shit, get that. Oh, gun! Far. Okay. Okay, we got it this time. <laughs> it's unusual to have like a interactive novel or whatever, point and click adventure like this where there's actual time limits. Yeah, yeah. Eyes. Eat shit. Have one of them. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, huh, what's that object? A fucking gun! Fuck yeah! Hmm, so the brain was the weak point. I should tell Doc. You don't say! It was a bit confusing. I missed the dialogue where he mentioned the gun and, uh, whatever. So the brain was the weak point. Right, okay. Eat shit. Huh? I'm back on the main floor, but Doc and Sheila aren't here. I don't think... The detectives... Huh? Is that Sheila's voice? I think it's coming from that resource room over there. Sheila's voice came from here. But how did the outbreak spread so fast? Well, the serum has vital properties, viral properties even. If you're bitten by a zombie, you get infected. Damn it all. It would have been better if I never attempted to make such a drug. Well, it might have been better if you didn't inject it into your cat, and then a human. <sighs> Mr. Cougar, it's alright. What's done is done. Right on. We shouldn't worry about the past anymore. We have to move on. 
cow. Still, I'm sorry. You must forgive me. Did you find anything upstairs? No, I'm just take these off. Ahem. <clears throat> yeah, I got some sweet info. Hmm, nice picture. The papers Doc has looks to be tax records of a large, large company. Why does he have this? Sheila seems to be looking at some blueprints. Doc, what is that? It's a katana I found! The police might have seized it from the Mafia! But, no, but now it's my deadly slice of Japanese heritage! This page... Oh, it's a full map of the city! It's so detailed! I'm gonna save at this point, actually. Uh. What are you looking at, Sheila? Oh, these? They look like blueprints, but I don't know why they'd be there. Here, even. Blueprints? For what? It says Central Hotel. Central Hotel? Oh! There was a note in the chief's office saying Central Hotel was a shelter. Shelter? Did they all evacuate there? Yeah, I think the other survivors could be there. Doc, I think I found the zombie's weakness. Really? Yeah, you blow their fucking head off with a hand cannon! <coughs> dear, dear. Ooh. Yeah, I was upstairs in the armory. I was hoping to find a sick machine gun, but not even a bullet was... As you can tell this is a recent translation. A fucking sick machine gun, bro! But not even a bullet was left, mother... Cal, are you alright? You sound like a douchebag. No, I'm fine. I had to crush the zombie's eyes in. With my thumbs. In his eyes. It was cool, but it was still alive and able to detect me without... The... This guy... Maybe it was in... Maybe it was instincts! I guess so. If its instincts are to kill people... Maybe if we head to the hotel, we'll find survivors. Well, they already evacuated there. So, about that weakness... Right. Sorry. Right. So I found... <laughs> reading the wrong lines. So I found a gun and shot him in the fucking head. Hmm. So it can't go by its instincts if the brain is destroyed. Like a ship without its captain. Oh, right. And it seems the zombies are eating brains. I don't know why, though. Ah, I see. Seems you learned a lot. Uh. Pardon me. Well, what can I say? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, now that we know their weakness, I think we have a good chance at survival. But I have no idea why they would eat human brains. Ahem. <clears throat> Uh, pardon me. Maybe they ate them for food! When I experimented with guinea pigs, they died within two minutes. I haven't tested on humans before, but I think they may die within a day or so. Maybe they could live longer if they ate brains. I don't know, but there's something about the brain. Zombies don't have working digestion, but maybe it's a chemical in the brain that they like. Maybe if we head to the hotel, we'll find survivors. Well, they... Oh, okay, I already read that. We'll have to look into it. It's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> Is that going to fall off? That's going to fall off in a minute. Shit. Uh, can we go then? Go? Hmm. We can't go anywhere. We can't use anything. I guess we're just still looking at stuff. Duck seems to be agitated with that book in his hands. Yeah, you're not going to talk about that? Duck's still looking serious. Of course. I'd be the same way if I was him. 
I'm glad I didn't take Sheila with me. Something bad could have happened. Or something good, am I right? I'm sorry I dragged Sheila into this. This is such an utter mess. I pray nothing bad happens. Can you even use a sword like this, Doc? My niece loves Japanese samurai flicks, so I can assure you I'm up on the latest techniques. I see. First time I've heard this. This seems to be blueprints for the station. I wish I had this when I was upstairs. Can we talk now? No. Yeah? No. Of course, there's so much stuff in this room. It must be full archive of data they have collected for decades. Hmm. Anything else? Oh, this page. Oh, it's a full map of the city. It's so detailed. Let's, can we get that? Now, can we talk? Uh, uh? This is for fighting against those zombies. What do you... Sorry. What do you have there? This? Sorry. This? Oh, it's a flashlight. But it stopped working when I was attacked by a zombie. I probably shouldn't hold onto a broken flashlight anymore. I'm gonna toss it. You know, sure. Could probably never... Find batteries. Can we talk now? No. We're still looking at shit, I guess. Can't go. No, you still agitate with that fucking book. And the map is still the map. Odd that the Mafia would have a crazy sword like this. I don't know anything about katanas, but I'd love to go to Japan one day. Okay, I think that's everything exhausted. I'm fucking exhausted. We don't have to go through it. Can we go somewhere and kiss? Kiss our faces together. Mwah mwah. Oh, well, finally. So yeah, you just have to click on everything until you exhaust it. It's not as good as the snatcher music. Snatcher music is mwah. Absolutely brilliant. It's all right. It's, it's, yeah, it's still good. Sorry, right. yeah, I don't, I don't mean to dunk on you, um, dead of the brain. Sorry about that. Doc, have you heard of Central Hotel? Yeah, he does sound a little bit Phoenix, right? You're right. You're Phoenix, right? <laughs> I read about it in a magazine. Foreign leaders would go there for meetings, like a second White House. It seems to be a big building, perfect for a shelter. Where is it? I think it's near Needle, sorry, the Needle River. I could tell you exactly where if I had a fucking, there's a map next to you! Ahem! <clears throat> I think this is the map, bitch. You think so? Shut up! It's a huge, sorry, it's a huge book. So it'd be hard to lug around. Here's the Needle River, so the hotel will be around here. Alright, let's get out of here. Doc, don't forget your sword. Here we go. Huh. I didn't know there was a hotel here. It looks like the top isn't finished yet. Covers for the construction worker blowing in the wind. They seem to be calling to me. What are you talking about? Construction isn't finished. Seems like it'll take a few more months. It looks creepy. It's alright. There are probably dozens of refugees in here. A major construction company's logo is on the construction tarp. Uh... Okay. Let's go! All right, let's go inside. Hmm? Cole, the door's locked. 
Did you find a key at the station? A key? No, I didn't. Was I supposed to? Look at this, Carl. Sorry, look at this, Carl. An electronic lock. Carl, was there a code at the station? Punch in the right code and you can enter? How modern. This is a PC-98. Uh, okay, so I can I... Ah, move. So you actually... To... Password. No harming trying it out. Two. One. Six. Whoa! It opened! Oh, sorry. Whoa! It opened! So it was a pin, not a room number. Oh, come on, you fucking idiot, let's go. You can't... Is this a lobby? It's dark, but I can see well enough. The terminal shows what rooms are vacant. Oh, I wonder how that works. Well, the second and third floors are lit up, so they are probably all vacant. Sorry, aren't lit up. What? The terminal shows what rooms are... Okay. Uh, right, I see. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's the door we entered. Seems you can leave without entering the passcode. Is that an elevator? Now it's a lift, you can't... I hope a wave of zombies doesn't burst out if it opens. Uh, I've got foreshadowing sound effect. Um, I don't know. That one's always good. Uh, use? Go? Uh, okay, we're still looking at stuff, apparently. The terminal shows what rooms are vacant. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Huh? The buttons aren't lighting up. Maybe it's not working because the top floors aren't finished yet. Oh, I can actually lean. Let me lean back a bit. Oh, let's get comfy. Uh, during this moment of calm. Actually, well, since I'm playing with just a mouse, I could actually lean back. Why am I hunched over the keyboard like a fucking ghoul? Like Phantom of the Opera. Since the elevator doesn't work, I think we have to use the stairs. The stairs are to the right of the elevator. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Yes, 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 thank you. Um, A front desk, huh? Odd that there is one, even though the hotel isn't open yet. I mean, I guess they'll need one eventually once it opens. No shit. What an arsehole. There's a terminal on the desk. No shit, Sherlock. Can we go now? But the elevator is easier to take. Stop complaining, you can't. Uh, what am I looking at? There is a big pillar here. I always see these holding up big hotels for some reason. What are you talking about? The door is bulletproof glass. There was no way we were getting in here without the passcode. Can I go yet? All I've got is... got no use. I'm actually going to save it while we're here. Uh, move? I guess we're still looking at stuff. Still complaining, you can't... Oh, we go. Floor two or three? Looks like the hotel's got way more than that, though. Let's go see everyone. I hope Terry's there. Terry. Terry, my nemesis! It's dark. Can't see anything. Doc, watch your step. I'm okay. Watch yours as well. I don't feel a step here. Is this the second floor? There's a door here. I hear something on the other side. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> the refugees are all dead. 
Doc, we can't stay here. Let's make tracks. But, but there's also the third floor. We should check there as well. The third floor? But, Doc, everyone here is dead. What the fuck is going on? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Um, excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Something's, uh... Boy! I think it's just crashed. <laughs> um, okay. That's not good. Beep beep! Thankfully, I just saved it. Hey, look, we're... Um, <laughs> I see you like to play Animal Crossing! What? No! No, I don't! Yes, you do, Snake! I see you like to play Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball! What a pervert! No! Don't tell Meryl! Right, where are we? Uh, I gotta go look at all this shit again. Fucking Terry. Put down your controller on the table, Snake! What are you talking about? I have a famous and a soul calm. Just, just do it! I'm gonna read your save cards! Is this gonna crash again? I hope not. Whoop! Refugees are dead. Fuck! Oh no, this is bad. You can go on without me, I'll be- oh no. Hit the third floor. I think this might be the end of the playthrough, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Screen options. Timing full screen. Don't know. None. Try that. E. Why is it even doing this? Oh, damn it. Uh. I suppose we could just keep on and see if it rectifies itself. Ooh. That's so bizarre there. Yeah, so if we turn... No, we don't want any of that. Timings are fine. No change screen resolution. No change... Okay. Let's try resetting it again. How bizarre. -da. I don't know what to do. Um. Come on, don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck. Shit. Uh Look safe for now. Uh, how can we rectify this? Oh, I have an idea because I'm a bloody genius. Or am I? Check this shit out. And. No. How do we stretch it? Uh, Alt 
control. Can we? No, no. No, no. Bear with me. Uh, shit. Stretch the screen. Aha! Haha! Uh, FYI, I cannot see that on my gaming screen. Uh, it's all still fucked up for me. I'm going to have to watch it on my preview screen up there, which is fine. We fucking did it. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I haven't got it. Shit, I deleted my air horn because I didn't think I'd use it on a bloody haunted fucking mansion stream. Haunted mansion stream? Where does this stuff come from in my brain? Halloween stream. Um, I'll tell you what, let's have a... I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. But yes, we saved the stream, everybody. And when it goes back to normal, I'll reset the transform and fucking we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to look up there now. I'm a bloody genius. Uh... I'm going to re I'm going to redo that then in that oh shit. I'm going to reset that cuz I missed all that dialogue. This is going to look a bit weird. Actually no, wait, no, I'm not going to do that cuz then I won't be able to actually see. Oh no, I will. Yeah, I'll, I'll okay, right. Bear, bear with me. Bear with me. I just want to read that dialogue again since I missed it all. Holy shit. See, this is this is it. This is dealing with technical shit all the time. Now it's just like second nature to me. Maybe there's a ghost in the machine! Ah! Right. Load game. Banner! That's gonna look a bit weird for you. I'm sorry. Just until I get up there. Terry, my nemesis! Okay, watch your step, watch yours as well. Use, use your imagination for this part. I hear something on the other side. Okay. Oh, whoa! Ah! The refugees are all dead! Doc, we can't stay here. Let's make tracks. But there's also the third floor. We should check there as well. The third floor? But, Doc, everyone here is dead! Whoa! Ah! How horrible! What? Oh wait, no. Now there's other bugs going on. Uh, we can't go on without. Oh god, damn it! That square is probably going to disappear in a minute. Okay. Uh, we're checking out a zombie. Fuck this. Yes, no? Oh. There we go, right. Jeez, Louise. We're back, everybody. Well, hopefully the bugs will clear up. Spooky bugs! <laughs> Looks safe. For now. Such a spooky hallway. Oh, there's a delay on that. It's really irritating, but, you know, whatever. Oh, I can kind of play down there. A sturdy looking door. You'd see two soldiers guarding it. Sorry, guarding it. When the president stays. I think it's messed with the dialogue as well. Looks like 20 rooms altogether. It's too big to be considered a second White House. This is how you enter the rooms. You put a pin and a card here and the mechanism opens the lock. I can still play on the bottom of the screen. It's just a bit squished for me. I can open... Sorry, can it be opened without an ID card? I don't know what's in these rooms, but there's a good chance there's a zombie behind one of them. I don't know what's in these rooms, but okay. Get... Use... Go. Okay, so we're still looking, apparently. Still looking. No, no, cancel, please. 
There are some footprints on the floor. Oh, there? No, there ain't. But no blood. No one was attacked here, it seems. So many footprints. One's probably a large man's. Another, a small woman's. Nothing noteworthy. Just footprints. The hallway is lit up by the moon. Eerie. Feels like zombies are hiding all around. This font does not help. Nothing noteworthy. Uh, yeah, yeah, zombies, zombies, zombies. Uh, still can't go. Move? Nah. Move is actually interacting with things, it seems. Uh, it's the same bulletproof glass as the first floor. I guess it can withstand even a terrorist attack. Man's voice. Don't move! Oh god, we gonna do that one again. Don't move, I'll shoot! Huh? Is someone talking? Behind us! Uh, I don't know, let's give him a different voice. Freeze! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Freeze! Are you zombies or humans? And uh, let's give him an American voice, I don't know. A she another shitty American voice. Freeze! Are you zombies or humans? <laughs> ah! We thought this place was a shelter! Who's this guy? What? You're sub. <sighs> what? You're survivors? I almost shot you guys! Huh? Who are you? You ca sorry, you can call me killer. You can call me killer. I used to be a detective until all this went down. A detective from the 16th precinct? Yeah. Is that yes? That's terrible. Yep. Yep. I supposed to say yep. Yep. We all had to hide here. Did everyone manage to evacuate here? Nope. Sadly, most people in the city turned. There are only six of us here. Here. Follow me into this room. I found these survivors outside. I think they could be useful. They're probably talking about us. Guy in the middle. This place is locked down tight. <laughs> How'd you get in? We invited ourselves in, actually. Guy in the middle. What's that, I don't know. You needed a pin to get in here. How'd you find that? We found a note at the 16th precinct, but everyone there was killed by zombies. Ah, the chief's office. That station was overwhelmed by zombies. Did you... Did you manage to get into the, uh, the armory? Yeah, I was attacked, but I didn't get hit. You got it without weapons? Nice! We took all the weapons here, so that's why it was empty. Well, I wonder, actually. Hmm. I honestly don't know why this is fucked. But it's actually still annoying me. Um... Windowed mode doesn't help. Hmm... Hmm... Oh, great! <laughs> great! Oh my god! Right, screen adjust full. Let's try that. Full screen. No! Nah! Right, hang on. I think I'm getting to the uh, the bottom. So instead of full, let's try in uh, adjust aspect. Window, no. This is not working. 
bloop. Damn it. Auto frame. He wasn't doing that before. Full frame. One half frame. Shit on toast. Shit on toast. Uh, fixed aspect is what we want. Damn it. <sighs> Bollocks. Right, hang on. I'm gonna try it saving this and quitting out of the app altogether. Right, let's save. I'm gonna. Oh, really? So that's why it was empty? So you're the chief, right? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Richard Gris. But you could call me Ghoul. I don't know how I got the nickname, but at one point, everyone began to call me Ghoul. I think it's a good nickname. Cole, this is Dr. Cougar and Sheila. I figured more people would be here, not just six. Yeah, there are only six of us, but we've been fighting hard against those damn zombie forces. It's a tough, thankless job, but we must do it. How about you? Could you free be any help? Of any help? Guy with feet up. I'm gonna voice all these people. I don't think this kid will be useful. Oh, wait, okay. I don't think this kid will be useful. I don't even approve of you being a leader. Oh, God, with the glasses. Knock it off! Ray, Ghoul! Is the chief. Ray, Ghoul is the chief, so his first priority is to protect the people. Would you. I'm getting lost now. I'm getting mixed up with the voices. Uh. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Seems like I left some points. Okay, right, right, right. Okay. I need to save this and quit out. Old guy as well. How are we going to get out of here? It's all undead out there. And the train... Sorry, train? Seems like I... Train? Seems like a bad idea unless you're cool with a zombie in the driver's seat. Cole, what do we do? You know what? I think this is a problem with the translation itself because... Oh no, join. Yeah, we'll join. We're in. Thanks, you people should get some rest. Sally, give them their cards and guns. Thank you. Your room is 220. Here's a card for it, a gun and a grenade. These are for the undead, so don't point this at anything you don't want to kill. We have some operations in the works. If you come back in 30 minutes, I can tell you about them. We're a team, we have different opinions and such. We're all humans trying to survive. Cole, let's get a little... Let's go rest a little. Yeah. Can I save now, please? This is our room. It's so close to the stairs. I'm a bit worried about that. Right, let's save. In number one. So now we're saved. Let's quit this and then open it again. Hopefully. Oh wow, the whole thing's fucked. Oh no, 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 that's because I've resized the screen, isn't it? Um, damn it. I wonder what it is. Okay, so we put that in IDO, open, and then reset. Bear with me a moment. File open error. What? No. Don't be silly. No, because it's totally working.
So if we load into number one. There we go, everybody! We did it! Uh, so if I then do control Z, 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 Z top, motherfucker! Yeah, we did it. We did it. Holy shit, yeah, this is the, this is very much the sausage. Hang on. <sighs> but we did it, everybody. A spooky apple there. So, yeah, we just had to restart the M layer. Fine. I do apologise, everyone. Anyway, this is our room. It's so close to the stair. At least we can. I know that I can save it now. But you know, hey, look, it's an it's a, a modern day PC, like modern modern day PC emulating a PC from twenty five years ago. Hey, and and even then, uh, emulating a hacked, patched ROM of a disc game converted into a hard disk image i think and translated by some uh anyway whatever this is our room it's so close to the stairs i'm a bit worried about that oh. that's our room looks safe you put the card in here there's a keypad and a slot for a card so this is how you open the door. You slide the card in. Woo! Oh, so I have to use it. Okay. Let's go in. I hope there's a nice sofa in there to... Hey, Carl. Who is this? Carl. Who's this guy? Um, it is me, Minsk. I don't know. Um, what does this guy look like? Oh... Sheila, Doc, you can go on ahead. I'll be there when we're done. Okay, you can't. Hello there. Hello there. Nose. His name's Nose. You can call me Nose. Sorry to intrude. It's about Ray. You'll have to forgive him for his behaviour. He's got no nose, you see. Ah, uh, Arnold. Yeah. Okay. We could, we could do the Arnold, I guess. I'm kind of liking my nose one now, though. Uh, sorry, uh, why? There are at least still some zom- Oh, that actually tickles the nose hairs. Ah, maybe I will go with the Arnold one instead. There are still some zombies on the second floor. There could be eight or so, and Ray's girlfriend is one of them. I see. Are you sure it's her? Zombies look nothing like human. This they do. Yeah, she has this necklace he gave her. Wait, oh yeah, I can't do that. It's tickling my nose hairs. Yeah, she has this necklace he gave her. When we were down there, he saw that one of the zombies had it. Well, yeah, Ray and I were down there trying to kill her, but Ray was so repulsed. So, can you do me a favor, girly man? I don't really want to help Ray, though. He's a cunt. Well, I can't force you to do this, but if someone can deal with the zombies downstairs... Yeah, sure. Alright. Leave the zombies downstairs to me. Thank you. I'll tell the boss that we talked. Ah. By the way, you're a lucky guy with that girlfriend of yours. Oh, Sheila? She's so cute. I want to... F if you make a move, I will shoot you, bitch. Ha! When you came in, I knew you were a scary guy. <laughs> okay, but the second floor is to repay our debt, and I will actually kill you, I'm not fucking around there. Well, in return, I'll get you the big dog buffet from Golden Palace! <laughs> Definitely. Looking forward to it, guy. No seemed imposing, but he's actually a nice guy. Despite hitting on my girlfriend. I thought this would be the map, sorry, the lap of luxury, but this barely rates above my own crappy digs. Look at these faces. What's this? If we had turned back to the second floor, we wouldn't have met that group. Good thing Doc kicked us. 
Good thing Doc kept us on the right track. Look at that O face. Oh! I'm kind of worried now that I just joined this group. What if I let them down? I bought that dress for Sheila. I remember her smile when she got it as if it was yesterday. It's been six months since I got that dress for her, but she still likes it. She's yet to wash it, though. I wanted some new jeans for my birthday, but instead bought that dress for Sheila. I think it was a good decision. More about the dress. <laughs> I sometimes wear it myself when she's not around. But that's just between you and me. I guess I'm too worried about my friends. Come to think of it, we haven't been hanging out that much lately. Oh no! FOMO! Come to think of it, if I don't kill these zombies, I can't spend time with Sheila! If I made the reanimation serum, I'd be in the same position as Doc. Probably even worse. Sheila, I promise to help exterminate these some zombies. But if we run around too much, we'll get killed! The hotel's bulletproof glass makes it a little more secure than my apartment. I know, but I'm more worried about you, Carl. What if something happens to you, you can? It's alright. I won't be reckless. I know their weak point. And I have a gun now. And a fucking grenade! I want to come with you. Sorry, I want to come with you. <laughs> but I would be a burden. That's right. Women usually are. But never mind, Sheila. You look pretty, so that's okay. Thanks, but make sure you stay in this room. You never know if the zombies downstairs could come up here. Boogie, boogie, boogie! I'm just kidding, Sheila. Cow, this is my fault. Can you take me with you? But that's dangerous. It's okay. I'm fine by myself. It would make me feel better if I watched your back. Holy shit! I also have a weapon. I just can't sit back while you risk your life. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Don't get careless, Doc. We need you to investigate these zombies. Yes. I'll watch my back. My throat is raw. <clears throat> well, that escalated quickly. The guy who took us to the meeting room has me on edge. I remember seeing him somewhere. I don't know where. Killer? Maybe it's deja vu. I must be mistaken. Just forget about it. Can you please put that away now? He holds that sword like it's Muramasa, but I'm not sure he's got the skills to back it up. He's kind of lame. Doc looks pretty badass with a blade. Not gonna lie. Anyway, about that dress. Uh. All right. What do you talk about with that man? He seems scary. Oh, that's Nose. He was in the meeting room, I think. He just wants to fuck you, that's all. Yes, he had his feet up. Sorry, yes, he had his feet up and was fighting with the chief. My voice is about to go. I have to, t I'll have to tone Cougar down a bit. I have to tame the Cougar. Yeah, so there's this zombie on the second floor that Ray and Nose fought. It was Ray's girlfriend, and she had a necklace that he gave her. So, Ray's quite depressed right now. Poor guy, what a cam. Everyone's getting affected by this. I don't know how to feel. Nose wanted me to forgive Ray. In that case, it seems Nose is a nice guy after all. The can. Speaking of, Sally said it, it's time for a meeting. So, Sally? Speaking of, Sally said it's Sally. Oh, Sally can wait. So, what is Ray going to do? Ray's girlfriend is a zombie now, but he can't bring himself to shoot her. 
You wouldn't shoot me if I became a zombie, right? Well, I probably would, you can. Speaking of nose, he said you were really cute, Sheila. Hey, hey, I bet you got angry at him, right, Carl? You can't. That must be Sally. Yeah, I'm going out for a bit. Wow, Sally. Who? Sheila who? Oh, cool. Let's get started then. Indeed. Hang on a minute. Damn, I envy her boyfriend. How much of this we got? I shouldn't stare. I can't upset Sheila. Nice looking, but Sheila's are the best of all. Oh, ho, ho, you dog. You dog. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's see. The first thing that I need you to do. Oh, zombies on second floor. You can leave that to me. Oh, you know that already. Good. This meeting will go by fast. The second floor is still unfinished, so it's difficult to know where zombies lurk, so be cautious. Does the second floor have the same number of rooms as this floor? No. There are only five rooms, much smaller. There are four confirmed zombies. Four? That doesn't sound that bad. Make sure you kill them all. For this shelter to be secure, there cannot be any zombies nearby. If you leave one, you'll have to go right on back downstairs. Understood. What a bitch. Pretty, well, I don't know. She's just firm. You'll need to get some well-deserved rest after this. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be getting food at a store. About a thousand feet away from the hotel. Thanks. I'll be sure to when... I mean, if I get back. Alright, be careful, Carl. Carl, how are you feeling, you can? I can manage. She said there's a department store. What? A.T. Housand feet west of here. <laughs> so I'll also be getting food. T. O'Morrow. Well, Carl, should we go now? Sheila, wait for us to get back soon. She's Australian. Both of you. Both of you can't be careful. <laughs> <coughs> oh, wow, well, okay. We're just going straight there, are we? Um, I don't think there are any zombies uh, here, Kel. Right. They're probably in one of these rooms. Be careful. Save at this point. Oh, boy. Looks like the door wasn't put in its frame yet. It's dark, and I can't see in there. I'm not going in there, then. Is a zombie in here? I would say yes, because there's blood on the hand, all right. Oh, I don't know, maybe not. Did we check this room yet? Ah! Sorry. Ah, Doc, there are two zombies. Kel, they haven't sensed us yet. If we're going to act, act now. Boom. Look out! There's another one! Oh shit, yeah. Look at that. Perfect, Cal! You have destroyed their brains completely! They won't be walking dead anymore! Doc, what's in this box here? Looks like trash. Do you want any of it? No, I'm good. But thanks. Anything other than trash in there? Well, there are some acrylic boards and screws. So, trash. Looks like they aren't just eating brains. After the brain, they must still have an appetite. So they go for other pieces, vile beings. The remains of the man they're eating. His legs are gone. What fiends! This is one of the zombies I killed. There's still more out there. Let's just get the rest of them and go back to the room. There are two dead zombies that are killed on the floor. 
not pleasant to look at. Just by looking at it for a moment, I know this is just some cardboard. What is that? The blood sprayed out from where I shot him. Gory. But it's to be completely sure. It's to be completely sh What? Okay, fine. Let's just go. I think it's time to look somewhere else. I'm glad we got those two zombies. If they attacked all at once, we would have been in trouble. Uh, I'm not getting in the dark room yet. Fuck that. The soundproofing makes it hard to hear from the outside. These doors don't need ID cards. We don't know what's in there until we check. This, okay. Let's go! I haven't been in here yet. Holy shit! Ah, oh, it's eating him! And then it's gonna eat me! Oh my god! It must be Ray's girl. I feel so bad for him. Don't worry about that, cow. It spotted us! I feel like I did Ray wrong by pulling the trigger. I did not hesitate. Now I know how nose felt. It can't be helped, so when you turn, it's best to die before you can hurt anyone else. The back of her head blew off because the bullet hit her dead square in the head. This must be the pendant Ray gave her. Even as a zombie, she wore it. I'm gonna get that. Can I get it? Should we give this back to Ray? No, let's not. He doesn't need to know about this at all. Okay, fine. Ray's girlfriend was eating a corpse. They all became so brutal when they became zombies. No matter who they are. Uh, should we just go then? I don't know. Oh, we can't go. Okay. We're still looking. She must have been drawn to this guy's brains. If this body wasn't here, she might have attacked us instead. Nice tits. I can't believe this happened to Ray's girlfriend. Even after you turn, your body keeps rotting. This man must have had a family of some kind. I'm sorry. The brains she was eating are leaking from his head. I've seen so many since the police station, but they'll never get used to this. The zombie's head is destroyed. In this state, it'll never get up again. Can we go now? No. I have a foot fish. Ray's girlfriend had that pendant around her neck. I'm surprised she kept it on even after turning. Turning. Ring, ring, ring. Okay. Uh, anything else? Can we go? She seems to have been young. Maybe in her, in her early 20s. Uh, go. Get. Talk. Look. Move. No? Huh? Huh? Cole? Look at the locket! There's a picture here! It's a picture of Ray! Ugh! If I ever made the reanimation drug... If I... If I never made the reanimation drug, an innocent lady like this wouldn't have had her life cut short! Doc. It is kind of your fault, though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we can go now. We better go now! I feel bad about leaving, but we have to find those other zombies! It didn't let go of this locket until the end. I feel kind of bad for it. Doc seems so depressed. Uh, I'm gonna save here. So, we've got a dark room which we can't go in, so I'm not gonna go in there. I haven't been in here yet. Hmm. This room only has wooden boxes. Look out, we don't know where zombies are hiding. There are so many wooden boxes in here. I wonder why. 
I don't have time to check through all of these boxes. Well, no, but... There's blood on the floor. I don't see any zombies, so I don't know if one's lurking nearby. No zombies behind this box. No zombies behind this box. It feels a stiff, cool breeze from the window. It's much colder here than the other rooms. I can open this box. Should I check it out? Ah, just crap I don't need. On one hand, I could wait here until a zombie comes over. But Sheila's waiting, so I better hurry. Can we go? Let's keep looking here. Uh... So we can't... Mm, I guess we just leave then. I think it's time to look somewhere else. There weren't any zombies here before. We should check a different room. Uh, I've checked all the rooms around. Have I ch I've checked all the rooms, haven't I? That's the box room. Ray's girlfriend was in this room. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did we go in that room? This is a box room, right? Am I? I haven't. Oh, I haven't been in here yet. Okay. It seems people died here. Doc, do you see any zombies? No, none here. But who knows where they're hiding? Be alert. There's no blood on the floor. That ju that must mean there haven't been zombies here. But I'm not sure. Oh, a toolbox? I wonder what's in it. Huh? Sorry, huh? Did you open it? No good. Maybe I should give up. Ah, it's open. Flashlight. Hmm? Hmm? Is there anything interesting in there, too? Just all kinds of tools. A hammer, screwdriver, spanner. Hurry up, Cole. There are still zombies around. Right, right. Hmm. The rest of it is just nails upon nails. Motherfucker! Shit! <laughs> Go! Ah! Duck! Damn, it got away. Doc, stay with me. We'll get you an ambulance. Wait, no. I'll bring you back upstairs. Ugh, go. It's already too late for me. Could I have saved him there? Don't say that, Doc. It's all right. I'll take you upstairs and we'll treat your wound. You're gonna be fine. Go. The serum infects the blood like a virus. We saw what happened to the officer at the lab. I'll become one of them soon. What? Why are you saying all this bullshit? You're gonna be okay, Doc. I'm sure of it. This was all my fault in the first place. I made that... Sorry. Wrong person. It wouldn't be fitting for me to survive. Go. I'm sorry for everything. Tell Sheila. She has great tits. Ray's girlfriend's death was also my fault. Doc, you're gonna make it, I swear. We'll get rid of all these zombies and the three of us will be alright. Doc, please don't die on me. Go. Can you still hear me? I have one last request for you. Suck my balls. A last request? Yes, I'm listening. I don't want to become one of those zombies. Please, kill me first. What? No, I can't do that. What are you talking about? Go. <clears throat> I'm, I'm kind of glad he's dead because my voice is wrecked. Please, I'm begging you. I don't want to scare Sheila as a zombie. Go. You're the last friend I can trust fully. Please, just do it. Go. Don't cry. Be strong. Tears don't suit you anyway. Oh, it's getting dark. All right, Doc. I understand. Please, even after everything you've done, make sure you, you go to heaven. 
I'll try. I'll be waiting. Make sure to live a happy life with Sheila. Fuck. I didn't even press anything. He was he was desperate to do that. Oh, I am glad he's dead though, because my voice, my I think my voice is already beginning to go. <clears throat> Four years ago, when I came to this city, I first met Doc. Unlike most people, he was really friendly to me. He was more than just another scientist. He was my best friend. His experiments weren't successful most of the time, but his determination is what made me admire him. He was kind of a loser, actually, now I think about it. However, he made one massive mistake that cost people their lives. That mistake cost him his own life as well. Doc, I will never forget you. Rest easy. It, it's my fault Doc died. Sheila is gonna be so upset when I tell her. Whoa. That voice is coming from room 103. Is that the zombie that attacked Doc? I have to get in there and get that bastard. So, 101, 102, 103? Oh, okay. Is this room 103? This is 101, 102. That one? Oh, it says 102. I have enough bullets. Let's go. Ah. What? Was it waiting for me to come in? Shit! How did I drop my gun now of all times? This zombie is so much more powerful than the others. Was this how Doc was overpowered? Uh, eyes. No dice. It's not letting go like the one at the, at the station. I lose my grip and he'll eat me for sure. It's almost like I fell into a sick trap. If he gets any closer, I'm done for it. It doesn't even respond to my kicks. I don't think I can even kill this one. This one's a lot more powerful than the others. I can't possibly kill it. It would be better to run away. He must have run away when he saw I had a gun, then waited for me to drop it. Come to think of it, I did hear one of them talk on the radio back at the station. But how, a how does a zombie talk? I thought they ate brains only. But it seems the ones in room 102 ate the whole body. Maybe they have some kind of sentient thought. Maybe they're smarter than Doc, and I thought. Damn, it's getting dark. Is this it for me? I should have done more for Sheila. My vision's getting blurry. Hmm? Someone came into this room, and the zombies hid there and waited for me. What? What? Huh? What happened? Who saved me? Who the fuck is this guy? Man. I'm a man. That was too close. Oh, I don't want to fuck my voice up more. Can I, I'm just going to give him a normal voice for a bit. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I can barely talk and I'm fucking not being throttled. <clears throat> let's, let's give him a nice... <coughs> a nice easy voice. That was... Wow, even that hurts. That was too close. You would have been done for if I was a moment late. Thanks a million. I'm Cole. Nice to meet you. Are you also part of Chief Ghoul's survivors? No, I'm on my own. We're all survivors, the way things are going. Oh, okay. Huh. What a joke. I'm Kane. Nice to meet you. Oh boy. Well, we've got 10 minutes left of the stream. I'm going to save here. Uh, in number one, so I remember what one it is for next time. I'm going to finish this, actually. Um, I think I'm actually going to continue this tomorrow. Um, and get it done, because I've got other shit to do. I've got to go work, unfortunately. So I can't commit to a long, um, Liza P session. Okay, so, now that we've saved... Can I mute my game audio? Yes, I can! Aha, uh -huh. right, okay. Uh... There we go. Full cam? That's nice game cam.
Okay. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me on the the Halloween special. Um, bit of a curveball. I think I kind of hinted at either playing Resident Evil 4 or Alien Isolation, but at the last minute. I kind of decided on this, and I'm glad I did. It's actually pretty good. Technical problems aside, and uh, stripped vocal cords aside, I'm actually quite enjoying it. Um, it's not Snatcher levels of, of good, but it's up there. It's on par with, um, oh, what's it called? Space, Space, I can't remember. So it's on the Meg CD. It'll come to me. It is a good game, you're right. And there's a sequel, which I don't think has been translated, actually. Um, I'll have to check that out. But uh, yeah, if you can play it, well, there's, there's no, if you're watching this, then there's no need to play it. It's pretty much spoilers all the way. But yeah, it's good. It is good. I'm going to finish it tomorrow uh, and upload that, whatever. But yes, I hope you had a, a spooky ween or whatever. Um, trick or treated tonight uh, with my little girl and my, my boy. He just sat in the sat in the pram. I was going to say trolley, sat in the trolley <laughs> and just kind of watched everything. He doesn't quite get it yet. Um, but yeah, my, my little girl loves it. We, we basically give sweets to all of our neighbours, uh, approved sweets to all of our neighbours and then we knock on those specific doors because we don't really want to pester people anyway, that's another thing. Um, so she's got a bunch of chocolate and shit to eat now that we have to ration out. God, that's got to be a nightmare for the next week. Sugared up, hopped up, three and a half year old. But you know, she loves it. She's so excited, it's great. I love it. I love Halloween now, now that I've got kids. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see everyone when I see everyone. Uh, bye to everyone on YouTube. This point is completely irrelevant because it makes no sense um, after the VOD goes up time-wise. Um, if you are enjoying the stream, if there is anyone out there, uh, one way or another, follow, like, subscribe, click, fucking, I don't know, just whatever. I don't really care. I honestly don't really care anymore. It's fine. Uh, and I'll see you soon. I'm going to go. How long have I got left of the song? 30 seconds. Good. Um, let's just finish off with a, um, more like a, <laughs> see you later, bye, see ya. <laughs>